<coughs> okay, we broke a bit of the plastic off the top, um, but the LED is still alive, so let's try again. Hi everyone, one of the common questions about these Firefly LED Christmas lights is, are the bulbs replaceable? And what happens if one of them fails? Well, no, they're not replaceable. And today we're gonna to find out what happens if one fails. And to do that, we're gonna remove the plastic protection from one of the LEDs. And then we'll use this power supply here to increase the voltage until the lead blows. And there you go. We've taken it up to say, 15 volts so that LED is now basically blown even if we bring the voltage back down to 2 volts you can see it won't come on anymore we've blown that LED let's plug this back in and see if it works okay so you can see because of that blown LED we no longer have the reds or the blues but what would happen if we removed the damaged LED and then connected the circuit back together and there you go, all of our lights are back on again. Now in reality, one individual LED is unlikely to blow. It could happen, but normally it's not the LED that fails, it's the power supply that fails. Um, so yeah, just a fun little experiment because a lot of people did ask what would happen. And now we know, um, at least in the circumstances of an LED being overloaded, which if ever it's gonna break, that's most likely the way. Um, we could also try a physical damage just, just to kind of round this video off. Um, I can use my pliers here and crush one of the LEDs and we can see what happens. Now be aware that I'm running this through a GFCI or RCD protected circuit, so I do have protection against electrocution. Do not try this yourself. Ugh. So these LEDs are actually a lot tougher than I expected. I'm struggling to crack it. That's funny. Let's try it an angle. Oh wow. I don't know what these are made of, but they're tough. Ugh. I'm, I'm not, again, this is not just for camera. I'm actually trying to crush this LED. <sighs> Why can't I crush it? That's ridiculous. Oh, you can see I've got some blood on my finger from earlier where I was trying to remove the plastic because also this plastic coating is extremely tough, very hard to get off. So I ended up stabbing my thumb and my finger. Um, let's try and crush a different one. It must be possible to crush this, surely. Okay, we broke a bit of the plastic off the top, um, but the LED is still alive, so let's try again. Ah, oh, there you go. So we just killed the green with physical damage, and of course the rest of the green line went out. Um, let's just unplug this quickly and bypass this LED. Now, of course, something to be aware of is that every time you remove an LED, the rest of the existing LEDs are getting a slightly higher voltage, um, which means they're going to shine brighter and potentially they could die sooner. Anyway, just another video messing around with the lights. If you did enjoy it, please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.